um, with Shannon, and um, we're going to work on ways to release stress today. So I just want you to find a comfortable seated pose. Um, I do recommend you have some blocks. If you have a pillow or a blanket, something to prop yourself up on, um, make yourself more comfortable as you sit. This is a very comfortable pose for me. If this is not comfortable for you, sit another way that is, is comfortable for you. And I just want you to come into a quiet, seated pose. You just start focusing a little bit on your breath. And just kind of check in for a moment how you feel today. We're going to breathe in through your nose. And then let's sigh this one out. We're going to breathe in. And then exhale, sigh it out. One more like that. Inhale. Exhale. And then just take a moment, open your eyes. Um, I was, or I've been paddleboarding um, to try to kind of relieve some of the stress of being inside. And I'm a really busy person and I normally am moving around to a hundred different places and I've noticed that as I'm inside, I'm a lot more tired. Um, I feel more fatigued, more stressed because I'm not moving around quite as much. And um, so I've been trying to work on paddle boarding and, and doing more things to keep my my body moving. Now we've I've lived near the canal for quite some time and there's active wildlife but not as active as I've noticed it's been lately. Um, there are we were paddleboarding yesterday and there were thousands of schools of fish everywhere. Um, I mean, so many fish, I've actually never seen this many fish before, and they were popping out of the water. Um, I mean, literally jumping, like, not from here, but to, like, here. Um, there were a couple times I was, I was pretty sure they were going to land right on my board. Um, amazing amount of dolphins. We saw dolphins, manatees birds, um, as people have been less active, wildlife has been more active. I feel like this is the Earth's opportunity to reset itself a little bit as we're less active, as we're in the world a little bit less. The world is creating this renewal. Um, and so sometimes, you know, we feel like we're not able to do a lot, but by not necessarily doing a lot, we're giving the earth this opportunity to renew itself, um, which I think is pretty amazing. So when you think that you're inside, you're not doing anything, you're actually helping the earth regenerate, renew, um, and hopefully heal a little bit from some of the damage that we've created and we caused inside of it. So I hope that, you know, maybe that gives you a little bit of peace knowing that as we're less active in the world, the world is actually able to heal itself a little bit. And if the earth heals itself, maybe we can heal ourselves together. So... That gave me a lot of comfort yesterday and actually created a little less stress um, where I feel like I'm not doing as much, but by not doing as much, I'm actually doing a lot. And so I just want you to close your eyes. We're gonna do a, um, a, a focused exercise called three-part breathing. So the three-part breathing is I'm gonna breathe in from my belly. I'm gonna take it up into the chest 
and then right to the base of the throat, but we're gonna focus on the belly first. So you can take one hand to your belly, and I want you to kind of make what I always call fat belly. So I'm gonna breathe into your belly and kind of expand your belly. Now you can do this lying down, or you can do this sitting up. I'm gonna show you sitting up, but it's a great exercise to do lying down as well. And belly breathing is amazing to de-stress the body. Um, also really good for people that have um, heart issues, um, if you have breathing issues, learning how to work the diaphragm a little bit, and really good for people that have diabetes. So this is a great breath to kind of work on. So I want you to take your hand to your belly and inflate your belly on your breath. So kind of inhale and putting all that air into the belly and then exhale from the belly. And inhale. And exhale. And two more like that, counting your breath. So if you have a four second inhale, try to make your exhale a four second exhale. If you have a five second inhale, make your exhale five seconds. So balance out your breathing. I'm gonna do one more. And exhale. And now, see if you can Bring half of that air into your belly and then half into your lungs. So we'll bring half into the belly and then half into the lungs. And kind of feel your chest expand. Now take it from the chest. Okay, Take it from the chest to the belly. And so into the belly and into the chest and from the chest back to the belly. And just keep doing that. Notice the air filters into the belly and then right into the chest and from the chest back to the belly. And sometimes this takes a little bit of practice. You might notice the belly is expanding more and the chest is actually expanding less. So just kind of focusing, how much can I expand the belly and then expand the chest? And just doing a few more of these, finding this balanced breath. And see if you can do this in through the nose, out through the nose. And then taking one finger just at the very base of your throat. So I don't take it up to the top of the throat. I take it right to the base of the throat. And I'm going to breathe in to the belly. Breathing in to the chest, right to the base of the throat. As though you're filling a beaker you know, or a pitcher of water all the way up to the very top. And then as you pour it out, it goes all the way down to the bottom. You might even feel the pelvic floor lift a little as you push everything out, getting everything kind of expanded out through the airways. And just keep breathing in. And exhale and from the throat to the chest to the belly. We're going to do about six of these together. So breathing in from the belly to the chest to the throat, from the throat to the chest to the belly. Inhale, belly, chest, throat, from the throat to the chest, to the belly. Inhale the belly, to the chest, to the throat, from the throat, to the 
the chest to the belly. Two more like this. In from the belly, chest, and throat. From the throat to the chest to the belly. Last one. Inhale, belly to the chest to the throat. From the throat to the chest to the belly. And then just taking your hands to your knees or the lap or even your stomach if you're lying down. Let's just breathe in. Exhale, breathe out. And just settle with the breath for a moment. Notice how the body feels right now. And then if you're sitting, we're going to join anyone that's lying down. I like a pillow underneath my head. So you're just going to come into a reclining pose for a moment. And pressing your back to the earth. Make sure your knees are facing up. We're going to extend the arms up overhead. And just reach the arms back. Now, if you have shoulder issues going on, I want you to bend the elbows and maybe take your arms out into cactus. If not, you can reach your arms overhead. On your inhale, lifting up. Exhale, pressing the arm bones down. Plug the shoulder blades into the mat. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, pressing back. And again, plug the shoulder blades in. Inhale, lengthen, reach the arms up. Exhale, pressing down. The back is connected the whole time. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, press down. Shoulder blades push down. Inhale. Exhale, pressing back, plug the shoulders back. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, press down. Push the shoulder blades down. Last one. Inhale. Exhale, press the shoulder blades down. Inhale. Exhale, push the shoulder blades down and start to fan the arms out to the side. Separate your thumbs and your fingers. And then I want you to bring the arms in, kind of like you're making a snow angel. And see if you just slide the fingers over and down, opening, maybe extending the pinkies up a little bit further. So if you need to, keep the shoulders free from whatever's under your head. So extend the arms out and get them up as wide as you can and then take them down so the thumbs come down and the arms hug in by your side. So inhale, lengthen. Exhale, try to keep the shoulder blades pressing down. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale. Inhale, lengthen. So our shoulders have a lot to do with our fight and flight. So as our shoulders kind of rise up towards our ears, it creates this autonomic connection to our fight and flight system sometimes. And we actually can release cortisol and our body goes into that sympathetic nervous system. And so we want to keep the shoulders really open, but you want to push the shoulders away from the ears. Inhale. Exhale, two more like this. Keep the chin placed up towards the ceiling. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, lower. Last one. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale. We're going to bring those hands up. Spread your fingers out. Bring your hands over towards the side. Inhale. Exhale, try to push the back of your triceps down, relax your shoulders. Inhale, exhale, inhale, lengthen, exhale, press it in, inhale, lengthen, exhale, two more like this, inhale, just working on the shoulders, exhale, last one, 
Inhale. Exhale, and bring your arms down by your side. Roll your shoulders out a little bit. Go the other direction. You might hear a lot of cracking and creaking. I'm going to bring the hands down. I'm going to take the blanket away from me so my head is down on the ground. We're going to find bridge lifts. So hands stay down. Feet might be about hip distance apart. And if you have a block, I want you to grab onto your block. Take your block between your thighs, not your knees. So your block is going to create this movement or this action of the legs to stay connected. So I'm pulling everything into the midline, and I'm going to really slowly lift up. And try to press the arms down and plug the shoulder blades down. Keep the big toes rooted. Lift the chin away from the chest, and think about lengthening the back of the neck. Now the shoulder blades are both pressing down, and I'm going to lower down a vertebra at a time. Press the lower back down. Inhale, lengthen. Squeeze the block on your way up. Exhale, lower. Squeeze the block on your down. Inhale, lengthen. We're going to do a few of these. Exhale, lower. Keep the block squeezing the whole time. So you're going to keep an action in the legs. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Keep the legs super active. Inhale, lift. It's contagious. Exhale, lower. One more time. Inhale, lift. And exhale, lower. We're going to lift up. We're going to lift the arms with us. So inhale, lift up. Exhale, lower. Keep the legs squeezing. Inhale, lengthen. Plug the backs of the shoulder blades down. Exhale, lower. Two more like this. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, lower. Last one. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale. We're going to see if we can go all the way through. So let's inhale, lengthen. Stay up. Exhale, arms come back behind you. Inhale, take it up. Squeeze the block. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, squeeze the block. Exhale, reach the arms overhead. Inhale, lift the arms. Exhale, lower down, squeeze your block. I know this one's tricky. Inhale, lengthen, squeeze the block, keep the legs active. Exhale, lower the hands. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, lower it all down. Last one. Inhale, lengthen, plug the shoulder blades back. Exhale, arms come back. Lift up as much as you can. Let's hold here, lengthen the neck. Chin away from the chest, staying here for five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale, reach the arms up, plug the shoulder blades back, stay here for five, squeeze the block, four, three, two, and one. Lower down nice and slow. Take that block out, grab on your knees, pull your knees into your ribs. I'm feeling all that work I did on my inner thighs yesterday. Moving the legs a little side to side. Grabbing onto the backs of your thighs. Just roll yourself up and down in your spine a little bit and try to hollow out the spine. So try to get rid of the speed bumps. See if each vertebra can touch the mat. Hi, Catherine. And when you're ready, Bring the knees down. I want you to roll out the ankles. And extend the legs up towards the ceiling. Come on, guys. Lily. <laughs> right in front of the camera. <laughs> Come on. Right down here. Take yourself. So your toes are up. Come on, sweetie. Over here. Lily, over here. No, over here, Lily. I'm sorry. <laughs> Come on, over here. Yes, downward facing dog. Good girl. Come down. That's a good girl. All right, lie down. Yes, good girl. We're going to bring those feet up. We're going to try to keep Lily down. 
Bring your heels so that the heels are facing up towards the ceiling. Keep the toes reaching down towards you. Keep your lower back plugged in. Reach the toes up towards the ceiling and then press them down. And then point and flex. Point and flex. Point and flex. We're going to keep the legs active when we do this. So push the lower back down. Stay here for 10. And nine. Really flex. Eight. See if you can separate the toes. Seven. Six. Five. I know. Four. Three. Two. One. Nice. Flex the heels and then turn the toes out like you're making a V shape. So like you're making a big V with your feet. Turn them in and out. Keep the legs really tight. Ten. Nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold them out. Push the lower back down. Engage the core. Keep the feet flexed. Stay here for ten. Nine. Legs are super active. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ah. Uh, Roll out your ankles either direction. So we're going to roll out the ankles. I'm going to roll the right ankle. Point the left toes. Roll the right ankle the other direction. And then point the right toes. Roll out the left ankle. And then go the other direction. Grab on your knees, pull your knees into your ribs. We're going to plant that left leg down. I'm going to grab my blanket, take it right back under my head. Just so much more comfortable. And I'm going to take the right ankle over the left knee, and I want you to push the knee away from you. We're going to find a little reclining pigeon. We're going to take this into a twist. So I'm going to bring the right heel over towards the left side. Now, for some of you, this might be as far as you're going to go. You can always use a block for your foot if you need to, or you can take that foot all the way down. If you take the foot all the way down, see if you can take your left hand, push your right leg away from you. So you're going to feel all this stretch through the outside of the IT. And this is a great stretch. And just keep pushing the leg away. You can even sometimes take your block if you have a little bit more mobility. And I like to just push right into the shin or the calf. You can push into the side of the thigh. Don't push with a lot of force, just like a little tiny bit of pressure. And I'm gonna keep trying to push this right hip down a little bit more. And just breathe through this, maybe closing the eyes. I am feeling a lot of tension being released in this side. So we're going to stay here for just a few more breaths. Breathe in through your nose, out through your nose. When you're ready, you're going to bring that leg back up. I want you to grab on to the back of the left thigh. So if you're able, you're going to take that left thigh in a little bit more. You might use your right elbow and actually push your right knee further away from you and kind of pull the leg in a little bit more. If you have a little bit more flexibility, you might take your hands right around the ankle or right around the knee and then relax the ankle and just keep pulling this knee in a little closer. If you want to add little movements, you can add little movements into your body when you're doing this. And if you want a little more, you might grab onto the back of the calf and think about pulling. Try not to lift the hips up, so keep the lower back down when you're doing this. And I'm just giving myself a little bit more pressure into that outer right hip. You can keep the right foot flat, flexed. So if your foot touches the forearm, that's a nice way or a nice reminder to keep that foot flexed so I'm protecting the right knee. And when you're ready, 
I'm going to bring that leg down. I'm going to uncross the legs. And then just pad out the feet for a moment, pad out the hips. We're going to bring the feet together. And we're going to come into a Supta Baddha Konasana. So I'm actually going to pull my hips forward. And I'm going to create this rounding in my back. I want you to extend your arms out. If you're feeling a lot of pressure in your hips or your knee, you can take a block under your hips. Try not to prop it under the knee. So like a door stop, we would just take it under the hip. I don't need the block for this. And sometimes the more you round the back, you're going to feel less pressure in the hips. And it actually is creating this really nice back bend. And so lift the chest, kind of open the heart. If you find you want to create a little bit more of a back bend, you can keep extending the arms back and lift the chest a little bit more. We're only going to stay here for a moment. And so deep in the breath, back bends are very energizing for the body, even in small amounts. And they release a lot of pressure. And this is a really relaxing pose for the body. You know, come on. I don't know why you keep standing right in front of the camera. There's like this huge house. We're going to go to the other side. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to take the left ankle over the right knee. And I'm going to bring that head back in. And this time, I'm going to push this knee away. And I'm just going to push the knee away a little bit. And then I'm going to take the left heel right down to the ground. And I'm going to try to push my left hip back a little bit. This is where those blocks can come in handy. Remember, if your foot doesn't come all the way down, it's okay. And I know the bottom of my feet are dirty because they took the dogs out just right before I filmed. And I stepped right into the, the nice squishy mud. So... We're going to push this knee out a little bit. And kind of lifting the heart, lifting the chest. And just allow yourself to relax. Now, another thing to de-stress you, since my feet are so dirty, is going outside and just stepping down in the earth, in the soil. And what is called earthing or grounding yourself into the earth really helps release a lot of stress. And see if you can push that knee just a little bit further away. You're going to get that really nice stretch on the outside of the left IT. Breathing into the space. Stay here for one more nice deep breath. And when you're ready, on your inhale, lift yourself back up. Flex your foot and grab on this time to your right knee. And you're going to pull the leg in. Maybe the hands come behind the thigh. If this is enough, this is, might be as far as you've come. You can even take a block underneath and just push that knee away. So if you have really tight hips, this might be what it looks like. If you don't, you might grab onto the back of that thigh. Use your left elbow, push your knee away from you. Lift your heart up and kind of pull your knee in towards you. You can take also the hands, interlock them to the front of the knee and just keep pulling them in a little bit more. Flex the foot on the left. And just close your eyes, kind of sink your lower back into the earth. You might take that right leg up, maybe grabbing onto the back of the calf. And again, we want to keep this foot flexed. So I might press my left foot into my right forearm. And I'm going to keep just working it in towards me a little bit more. Try to keep your hip down so I don't want to lift up. I want to keep my lower back rooted into the earth. So I'm not causing compression in the lower back.
When you're ready, you're going to draw that knee down. I want you to take that foot out. And then just take both feet out and I want you to stop the feet a little bit. Move the legs a little side to side. And then bring the base of the feet together again. Let's take that blanket out from underneath the head and allow the arms to come out. If you need those blocks, you can take those underneath the hips. We're going to create that back bend. And this time, I want you to see, can you move the shoulders a little closer in? So I'm creating more of a back bend. And you can kind of see, my back is really arched. So, you know, my hands can actually fit all the way through. Now, as I'm here, I'm going to take the arms out, push the chest up, lengthen the neck, chin away from the chest, bottoms of the feet are together, and maybe even bring the heels in a little bit closer. So I'm opening the thighs a little bit more. If you have more room, you can keep walking yourself in a little bit closer, finding the deepest version of your back bend. If this feels okay, I want you to push the feet into the earth. Inhale, lift the hips up a little bit, staying here for five. Expanding the chest on your breath, four. Three. And two. And one. And then lowering the hips down. Taking the hands to the knees. Bring those knees back up. And then lowering the back to the earth. And just keep your back rooted into the mat. I'm going to keep the left knee bent. Grab onto the back of the right leg. And see if you just stretch out through the back of the hamstring. Maybe even massage the hamstring out. Pull that leg in a little bit more. Maybe inhale the shoulders. And try to keep your gaze up towards the shin. If you're able, you can slide the left heel forward a little bit and really lengthen the top of the left hip. Bring the head down and see if you can bring the leg a little closer with you. I'm going to take this leg out. So I'm going to bring the knee out over towards the right side and the right heel is going to kind of reach over the chest. Now inhale your chest and see if you can grab onto your leg a little bit more. And on your exhale, sink your whole body down and see if the leg comes with you. We're going to do that one more time. If you need to bend the left knee, bend the left knee. So I'm going to inhale. I'm going to come a little closer in towards the leg. And as you exhale, see if you can sink down a little bit more. Coming into this really deep pigeon pose. And just holding on here, relaxing with it, maybe allowing for little movements in the hip. When you're ready, bring that leg back in, grab onto the top of the knee, and just pull the knee in, extend the left leg along. I'm gonna slide the left knee in, Find both knees are to the outside of the ribs. Try to keep the hips down. So I'm going to pull the heels down towards my bottom. And just kind of pull the heels down. Keep the lower back down. And if you can, try to pull the triceps down. When you're ready, release the right leg. And just going to keep that knee bent. And this time I'm going to reach the left leg up. I'm going to pull this leg in a little bit more. Maybe massage the back of the hamstring on the left side. When you're ready, maybe inhale the head. See if you can reach your chin more towards the shin. And just lift yourself up a little bit more. Exhale, lower down and start to slide the right hip down. And maybe massaging out the top of that right hip. I'm going to inhale, lengthen the head, come up a little bit, and then exhale. See if you can bring the leg a little bit more with you as you lower down. Now, soften the knee and bring the left knee out over towards the left side. I'm going to grab onto the foot, the calf, and try to pull the left heel 
over towards the right chest bone. So this is kind of a pigeon action for the leg. Then I'm gonna lift the body up, try to keep stretching the right leg, keep the right heel connected, and as I pull in, I'm gonna see, can my whole body come down a little bit more? I'm gonna keep the foot flexed. Draw the shoulder blades down, relax the body as much as you can. Deepen your breath. And just notice what's going on with the left hip. We're gonna come and do that one more time. So let's inhale the chest, see if we can grab on a little bit more. And as you do this, slowly melt your body into the earth. And just notice, does the leg come a little bit more with you? It might, it might not. But wherever you are here, just settle into it. Close your eyes and just see how this feels in your body. Maybe moving your hips a little. And just notice what stress you might have in your hips. So we put a lot of stress in our hips. That's where a lot of, especially for women, that's where our tension resides. That's where we put stress as mothers, caregivers, and especially at this time, we're trying to care for everybody, and a lot of times we lack care for ourselves. So we need to definitely care for ourselves during this period. And then when you're ready, just bring your heel back in line with your hip, bring your knee in and give yourself a hug. And then maybe start to slide the right leg up and pull both legs down, move a little side to side. Let's find a happy baby. Reach the legs up and grab onto the ends or the backs of the feet. You can grab onto the sides of the legs. You can even grab onto the thighs. Make sure the bottom isn't lifted. So push the bottom down so the lower back is down. And then just start to move side to side. And allow yourself to relax. Try to pull one knee down and then the other knee down. So we're gonna find what's called a half heavy baby. I'm gonna to pull to the right, and I'm gonna to try to bring the right knee down. Don't worry if it doesn't come through. Let the left leg kind of do whatever it wants to do. Then you can keep that left leg up. You're pushing the right knee into the earth, and I'm facing the right foot up. Now you can even bring the left leg down, and this can be really nice feeling too. I'm going to push that right knee down as far as I can and just see what's going on on the right side. If it feels better to take the right leg over towards the right side, do that. If it feels better to grab onto the left leg or keep the left leg up. I like the left leg up. And just kind of pulling that leg in. And then I'm going to grab onto the left, and I'm going to let the right leg go. I'm going to take the right leg down at first, see how that feels, and then pull the left knee in a little bit more. Try to push both shoulders down. And then I might take that leg up, adjust the pose. And again, yes, I think this feels better for my body. And then wherever you are, grab onto both and just pull both knees down. If movement feels good, offer movement, but also explore stillness. What does stillness feel like in the body? Keep your breath. Notice your breath plugs you a little bit deeper into the earth. When you're ready, bring your heels in, bring your knees in. Let's cross the right knee over the left and just give yourself a squeeze and a hug into the knees. I'm going to take the hands out over towards the side and I want you to just bring the knees a little to the right side. Come back into the center, bring them a little to the left. And just go a little side to side. Find where it's too much, maybe where your breath cuts off. So that's where I want you to stop is before your breath cuts off. 
So inhale to the center and then exhale towards the side. Inhale to the center and exhale towards the side. Inhale to the center, exhale to the side. Inhale to the center, exhale. Let's do one more each side. It doesn't matter what side you went to first, especially since we're hitting both sides. Notice how one side feels different. You might feel more in the legs, more in the shoulders. This time, release the legs, come into the center, and just grab onto both legs. And when you're ready, cross your left knee over your right and just pull your knees into your ribs. And then release the arms out to the side. Bring your knees over towards the side and just right before your breath cuts off. And then you're going to inhale and then exhale. Bring it over. Inhale, center. Exhale. So you should be able to keep your breath and your talking voice as you do this. But I want you to feel how this feels in the body. What stress I might be releasing. And this class today is really about releasing stress. It's about getting rid of tension in the body. And we all hold tension. Sometimes we're a little hard on our body and we don't give our body some of the more gentle things it needs. And so this class today is about honoring some of the gentle things I need. Still working the muscles, still working the smaller parts, but how do I need to release? Can I coordinate my movement with my breath? Inhaling center and then exhale. Inhaling, center, exhale. So we're gonna come back into the center and then bring those knees in, just giving your legs a hug. We're gonna roll over onto our side. We're gonna push up into a seated pose. And I'm gonna come onto my belly. So this time I'm gonna come onto the belly and just swing the legs around. We're gonna come into some lower back things. So I want you to extend your hands forward and just find your arms stacked one over the other. Forehead presses down. And I want you to press into your toes and feel that your big toes are down and your pinky toes are down. Now press into the pinky toes a little bit more so the inner thighs roll slightly up. And see if you can lengthen your legs back. Keep your forehead pressing down. Now on your inhale, keep your inner thighs pressing up and just start to extend, lift the chest and lift the arms up off the mat and then exhale, lower them down. Keep the toes rooted in, inhale, lengthen. And then I'm gonna exhale, lower. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, lower. Keeping the legs long. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale. We're going to do one more. Let's inhale, hold here. Three and two. And one. Exhale, lower. And just let everything sink down. Reach the arms forward. Stretch the arms forward as far as you can. We're going to stretch out our lower back. So I'm going to reach and gaze forward. I'm going to lift my head, keep my arms forward. Now I want you to think about lifting your right leg and see, can I get the whole leg lifted up? Now as you're here, maybe reach the left arm and stretch the left arm away from the right toes. Stay here for three and two and one. Lower both those down. So I'm going to inhale my head, stretch your arms forward, stretch your legs back, plug your pubic bone into the mat. This time I'm going to lift the left leg and I'm going to lift the whole left thigh. The hip is down, but the left thigh is lifted. 
right arm is going to come up and I'm going to reach the right arm away from the left toes. Staying here for five, four, three, two, and one. Lowering down. Nice. So we're going to do that again. I'm going to inhale the head. Lift the top ribs up off the ground. Inhale, right leg. Make sure the whole thigh is lifted and keep both shoulders reaching forward. So both shoulders are square. I'm going to inhale that left arm. Reach the arm and the toes away from each other. Hold here for five. And four. Three. Keep reaching. Two. And one. Lower down. Really feeling that pressure in the back. Kind of releasing the stress for the lower back. Stay here a breath. Once inhale, take the head up, reach the arms forward. I'm going to inhale the left leg and lift the whole left thigh. Now try to keep the shoulders square, keep the hips square. Inhale that right arm and reach the right arm in opposition of the left toes. Keep lifting, staying here for five. Square off the shoulders. Four, square off the hips. Three, and two, and one. Nice job, lowering down. You're going to bring those arms in a little bit. I want you to bring the elbows so the elbows align with the shoulders. Notice how the lower back feels. If this is enough, you can stay here. If you're able, inhale, straighten the arms and push your shoulders down. On this first one, I'm going to pull my chin down. So you can lengthen the back of the neck. And just keep reaching the chin down, pull the shoulders back. Now bring the elbows down, relax the head. And just stretch the whole back of your neck. Make sure your elbows and shoulders are in alignment and your fingers and hands are facing forward. On the inhale, come up, push your shoulders down. And this time, see if you can start gazing forward a little bit. Keep the shoulders pushing down. Stay here for five. And four. Three. Two. And one. Bring the elbows down. Lower the head. So lower the head. Keep the chin reaching in and pull the crown of the head forward. This time you're going to walk the arms in. We're going to do this one more time. I'm going to walk the arms in just a little bit. If I'm able to do a little more, if not, I want you to keep those arms forward and right where they are. So we're going to come up on our inhale. So one, two, three, let's inhale. Straighten the arms, gaze down first towards the chest. Now push your shoulders down away from your ears. Inhale, gaze towards the thumbs. Keep pushing the shoulders down. Inhale, lengthen the gaze, lifting up. Press the shoulders down. One more. Inhale. Chest is reaching forward towards the ceiling, towards the edge of the wall, the top of the wall. Keep pushing the shoulders back, plugging the pubic bone down. Stay here for five. And four. Three. Finding that energizing back bend. Two. And one. Lower the elbows. Take the elbows out to the side. Turn your head to any direction that feels good. Bring any knee out that feels good. So that's going to decompress the spine. And just breathe in through your nose. Let's exhale, sigh it out. One more like that. Inhale. And exhale. Nice. Reach the toes back. Take your hands back. Push up tabletop pose. Bring those knees so the knees and the hips align. Wrists and shoulders align. Round your back, lifting up. Pull your chin in towards your chest and move your head in a little tiny figure eight. Going both directions. On your inhale, pull your heart forward. Cow your body. Pull your shoulders back. Exhale, round. Push into your cat and push right through the arms, lifting up. Inhale, cow the body. Exhale, round. And on this one, I want you to come into what's called scared cat. 
I'm gonna walk the fingertips in and keep walking in and lift the spine up a little bit more, curling your body in towards itself. Stay here for three, push the shoulder blades out and down, two and one. And from here, draw back, see if you can come all the way into a seated pose and then walk yourself forward through your child's pose. Let your whole body hang down, let your head hang down, maybe hands find the elbows. And just allowing yourself to relax here, allowing the head to come down, allowing the body to relax. Maybe extending those arms forward. Stretch your arms forward and keep walking the arms forward. Keep the knees so the knees are hip distance apart. And I'm going to walk the arms forward. And as you do this, curl your toes. Press the toes down. Keep walking the arms forward. Try to keep your chest as low to the ground as you can like you're a snake. And just keep inching the fingers forward inching forward until you know you can't go any further. The forehead might be down. If you want a little bit more, you're gonna gaze towards the thumbs. This is another variation of our back bend. This is called melting heart, anahata, which is our heart chakra. This is opening the heart and the throat chakra, Vishuddha, reaching your heart forward, pushing the chin down, opening the shoulder blades and pressing the arms down. Keeping the ribs connected. If you have a little bit more, you can keep walking forward. And if this hurts the shoulders, bend the elbows. Maybe bring the body back a little bit more so the hips are closer towards the heels. Honor what is going on in your body today. Stay here for another breath. Maybe uncurl the toes, pressing the shins down. When you're ready, I want you to reach your whole body forward towards your thumbs. Walk your thumbs back underneath. So you're going to walk those wrists back under. We're going to do a scapular stretch. So I want you to sh kind of shrug and let your shoulder blades come out to the side. And then push up just with the arms, pushing up. So pressing down and then pressing up. And kind of slumping down. Let the shoulder blades kind of come together like an old horse. And then pressing up. And press up as high as you can, pulling upward. Feel the shoulder blades open and kind of press through the arms. Now slumping down a little bit and pressing up. Slumping down and pressing up. And pressing down one more. Pressing up, pull your head all the way through on this one. Chin in towards the chest. Stay here for five. Keep pushing. Four, three, as much as you can. Curling in on yourself. Two, and one. Come back into a relaxing child's pose. And this time, take your hands back behind you. Let the shoulders hang down. Start to curl your hands in like you're making a fist. And just opening and closing your fist. And you're going to reach yourself up. I want you to wave your whole body up as you come up. Take your hands to your heart, thumbs pressed to your chest. We're going to inhale, lengthen. And then exhale. I want you to sweep it back behind you. Forehead might come down. Inhale, lengthening up, and then exhale, forehead might come down. If you want to make this a little bit more challenging, you're going to lean your weight forward, inhaling up, and then exhale. And as much as you can, using abdominal strength, pulling away from your legs, reaching down slowly. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, keep reaching your heart forward. So you have to use your legs, you have to use your glutes, you have to use your abdomen, slowly lower. We're gonna find three more. Inhale, challenging yourself here, try to keep your hips over your knees. As much as you can, reaching the body forward, noticing how much of your body you're using to keep this action going. Inhale, and exhale. 
Keep reaching more of your chest forward, using more of your legs, more of those little small muscles, keeping yourself engaged. Last one, inhale. And this time I want you to hover so the forehead is off the mat. We're gonna hold it here. So find the furthest reach without crashing into your forehead. Pressing yourself down, staying here for five, four, stay active, three, two, and one. Inhale, coming up, take the hands down to the heart and just stay here for a breath or two. Nice, when you're ready, we're gonna come back into a seated pose. So you're gonna reach yourself into your seated pose. I know we're changing things up a little on this class. We're gonna work out. So we're on our computer a lot, probably on our phone a lot as well. And so believe it or not, you keep a lot of stress in your hands and your hands. You know, when I start inadvertently making a fist, it means I'm kind of fighting life. You know, it's effort. And so we need to work our hands out a little bit. So I want you to take your hands forward. Now, separating your fingers and thumbs, turn your fingers down, and then you're gonna turn your thumbs down, and I want you to make a little bit of a fist, kind of like you're giving a thumbs down. And then you're gonna bring those thumbs up. Try to push the arms forward a little bit, and then thumbs down and up. You're gonna find 10 and nine. Now the whole shoulder is rotating, the whole arm is rotating. Eight, six, sorry, five, pressing down, four, three, two, keep the arms straight. One, hold here, reach the arms out. So as I reach the arms out, the shoulders are in line with the elbows and I'm pushing the shoulder blades down. I'm reaching up and I'm gonna keep the arms really straight as I do this and I'm gonna push it down and I'm gonna go for 10. Keep that fist, nine, eight, seven, six, five, working into those biceps too, four, three, strong forearms, two, one, holding here, I want you to give it a little pulse, thumbs down for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, arms are forward, bring them forward, we're going to give those, and I'm plugging the shoulders, and there's still shoulder distance, we're going to give those little thumbs down for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, knuckles forward, four, three, two, one, bring those arms up, open, close, open, close, open, close, open, close, 10, nine, eight, keep the thumbs still, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, now with the thumbs. So close the thumbs over the fingers, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Keep the arms reaching forward, four, three, two, one. Bring the arms out to the side, bring up, make a muscle, thumbs up. So thumbs are gonna push down towards the shoulders, reach up, we've got 10. Keep that fist, nine, eight, seven, six, and these are actually pretty hard, five, four, three, two, one, nice, extend the arms out, open, close, so thumbs are up on these first ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, now thumbs in, ten, nine, eight, seven, keep the arms at six, five, four, three, two, one, ah, uh, should that feel like that? I know some of these little yoga movements, you're like, why does it feel like I just spent an hour in the gym? But it does. Let's inhale, reach and extend those arms up. Exhale, reach it over towards your right side, pull your right elbow down. And see, can you walk the fingers out a little bit more and keep pulling? Now, as you're doing this, I want you to push the left hip down. So reach over and just spend some time here. 
we're going to reach that left arm forward a little bit. And kind of like you're looking up underneath a blanket, I want you to kind of peek underneath, not moving the arm a lot. So I'm going to reach forward, might even touch the ground. Inhale, peek up under that blanket. Exhale, reaching down. Inhale, peeking up under that blanket. And exhale. And this time, I want you to move the arm back over so it's right over that right arm. Push with the right arm. Reach the left arm up. Stay here for a moment. Check in. How does this left side body feel? I want you to bring your ear over towards the right side. Take both hands out. Interlock your fingers behind your back. Straighten your arms as much as you can. Now see if you can bring your fist over towards the left hip and just keep that right ear reaching over towards the right. Try to pull the left shoulder down a little bit more. When you're ready, release the hands. Take your chin in towards your chest. And then bring your ear just right over towards that right or left side. We're going to do that neck first, then we'll move into the side body. And just reach the arms out. Take the hands back behind you. Straighten out the arms. And see, can I bring my fist over to the right side and keep reaching the left ear over towards the left. Now, instead of this right shoulder being up here, make sure it's down as you're doing this so you're reaching your ear over. And just try to relax into your pose. Maybe closing your eyes. And then reach your hands back. Bring your hands back to your left chin in towards your chest and just roll your head out a moment. Go in the other direction. And then on your inhale, reach your arms up and bring your left arm over towards the left side. You're going to bend into your left elbow. Push your left elbow down and keep reaching and extending the right arm forward. And I'm going to reach the right arm over towards the left floor, almost like I'm trying to touch down. Keep your right hip pressed down. On your inhale, peek up under that blanket. And then exhale, lowering down. And then inhale, peeking up. And exhale, lower. One more. Inhale, peeking up under that blanket. And exhale. And this time we're going to bring that arm all the way back over. So I'm going to reach over. Keep pushing that right hip down. And using the left hand, push yourself up. Bring that right arm back up. Check in. Again, notice that sometimes as I open my side, it tightens my neck. So we're going to finish off really de-stressing all the little areas of the body. Going both directions. And then chin in towards your chest. Reach and extend your arms out. See if your hands can grab under your elbows. And just pull your elbows up and then forward as much as you can, rounding your back. So as I'm doing this, I'm rounding my back, getting that decompression in that low back, stretching the ribs. On your inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, pull. And this time I want you to pull that right elbow forward a little bit more. Kind of twisting the left elbow just a little bit, but notice that right elbow is still reaching forward. Bring it back to the center. Inhale, straighten. And then exhale, round. And as you round, this time that left elbow is going to come forward. And bring yourself back to the center. Inhale, the arms. And then take the hands down towards the knees. And I just want you to pull everything back. Push your shoulders back. Lift the shoulders. Push them back away from you. Lift the shoulders. Last two. Push them down. Inhale. Last one. Push them down. Inhale. Grow the body. You're going to take that blanket out. You're going to come down into your Shavasana. I know we didn't get to any standing things, but sometimes we don't need to. 
you know, life is stressful right now. And we are feeling a lot of stress and anxiety. And that's where our animals, our loved ones, you know, anything that you can do to give yourself a little bit of comfort, know that your tiredness is because you're inside. You know, there's a fatigue with being trapped that comes with that we have to understand and we have to respect. And sometimes waking ourselves up slowly in this process. So I'm going to slowly start to lower down. Lily, you want to join me? And find yourself in your comfortable shavasana. Extend. Come on. Come on, Lily. <laughs> Letting yourself lower down. And again, that's wherever your body feels the best. And you might find your arms open up a little bit. You might need to bend your knees. But I want you to go back to your breath. You go back to your breath, back to your body, kind of focusing on what is going on, being aware of how your body feels in this moment, systematically walking through the parts of your body and notice, is there any area that I'm feeling tension and stress? Is there any area that I'm a little overwhelmed, you know, that isn't, isn't releasing well. And breathe into that space. Give that part of your body the love that it needs. We're going to stay here for a few more breaths. And I invite you to stay in your Shavasana. I do like to finish a lot of my classes with some deep breaths. We can take those together in your Shavasana. And a thought for today. And I really liked this one because I felt like it really discussed a lot of what we were going through right now. All of us are waiting and we don't have a lot of answers. And that's really frustrating and it's a little scary. And there's a huge unknown factor. And again, that's part of that waiting process. So the quote says, trust the wait, embrace the uncertainty, enjoy the beauty of becoming. When nothing in life is certain, then anything is possible. And that's what we have to think in this situation. Right now, nothing is certain. We don't know what tomorrow is going to hold. We don't know when all of this is going to end, when we're going to be able to come out of basically kind of being self-imprisoned in our home. Um, we don't know how much is going to spread, how bad it's going to be, and what our economic situation is going to be after this. But we also don't know what industry this is going to open, what doors this is going to open, how life outside of our homes is already rebuilding and renewing itself. So we have a healthy environment, we might be able to live decades longer, you know, centuries longer because of the rest that we're giving our earth at this moment. So there's so much uncertainty, but there's so many possibilities for a really bright and amazing future in life. And I want you to hold on and kind of embrace the uncertainty, and know that with that uncertainty, uncertainty, there are countless possibilities in this world. Um, almost brings me to tears to think of how amazing life can be 
if we focus on those possibilities and not focus on the bleakness or the sadness or the destruction, but what can we build as a society from this experience and be more connected to everything? So I, I hope that you can embrace that along with me because I'm very excited about the possibilities of our future. Um, we're gonna finish off with three deep breaths. So I'm gonna let you inhale through your nose, hold your breath and exhale. I'll count the first. Let's inhale for two, three, four, and five. Hold for two, three, four, and five. And exhale, two, three, four, and five. Inhale. And hold. And exhale. Last one, inhale. Hold and exhale. And namaste. Um, speaking of possibilities, I am going to put a link on my website. Right now, because of the coronavirus, they had to shut down the dog tracks earlier. So the greyhounds are out of work. Um, there's about 1,500 greyhounds in Florida that need adoption, and there are a lot of people that I think need some greyhounds. So greyhounds are awesome animals. Um, they're very similar to whippets, which are lazy most of the time, but need some good running, and they are the best dogs. So I invite you to adopt some greyhounds because they are awesome um, and they will enrich your life so much. So I'm going to put a link right um, with this um, video. Um, I'm going to put a link to find out maybe how to adopt those greyhounds. And also if you would like to donate um, you know, for these classes, I'm going to put a link on there that you can donate for these classes. I will keep filming. And um, we're all in this together. All right. Namaste.